No, of course not. And and remember, this is a president who gets things done. This is a president who, who does what he told the American people he was going to do, accomplishes what he was elected to do. And this is just one more example of him, him getting something done that's valuable and important to uh, to the country. And he's right. Well, look, look, he should not concede. Everyone knows instinctively. Everyone knows there are problems with this election. I mean, you, you can look the, the fact he said, you know, 75 million people, 75 million people. He increased his vote total by 10 to 11 million. We won 27 out of the 27 toss up states. He increased his votes with Hispanic Americans, African Americans, uh, state legislatures that that Republicans controlled. We kept all those plus increased those numbers. You can just go down the line. He won 19 of the 20 bellwether counties. He won Ohio by eight, Iowa by eight, Florida by three. And yes, somehow doesn't win. So we know we need to look into all this. Uh, there is a number of lawsuits that are are pending. Uh, the one that was filed in Texas today regarding several states. Uh, let's see how that all shakes out. And let's let's get to the bottom of this for the well-being of the country. The last thing I'm saying is you never forget of that 75 million surveys show over 70 percent of that number. Fifty some million people think the election was stolen. That's one third of the electorate for for that reason alone. We should exhaust every avenue we have to get to the truth, because that is a that's not a healthy situation when over a third of the electorate thinks there was a major problem in this election. So let's get to the bottom of it. we got a number of lawsuits and a whole host of things. Let's find out exactly what took place in this election. Now, the con uh, Congressman, he, as you heard the president, he mentioned uh, uh, it's time he felt for a uh, brave legislator or legislature to step up. Would you fill in the blanks on what he means by that and how you see that playing out if such a thing happened? Well, you know, the Constitution is clear. It's it's the state legislature that sets the time, manner, and place of election. It's also the state legislatures around the country who determine, the, you know, what electors get sent, uh, the Electoral College meets. So, so there's there's all, the, we have that whole process, that whole constitutional process that you go through. There's also governors. I, I, for the life of me, I do not know why Governor Kemp will not allow us to recheck the signatures. They weren't checked on the recount. Let us check the signatures and, and see if there, if, if there was truly a problem there. If, if it was such a good election and there were no problems, then why not let us look at the signatures? So that, that, that's, a, I think, a, a pretty, pretty common sense approach. But unfortunately, the governor won't allow that to happen. So there, there's some governors who could, who could take some steps that I think would be helpful in getting to the truth so that you don't have a situation where over a third of the electorate thinks there was a problem. Yeah, and moving from Georgia back to Texas, what are your thoughts on that lawsuit filed by Texas today? Yeah, regarding a number of states, I think that's great. I, I, I think, you know, some uh, uh, trending on Twitter was God bless Texas. So, you know, <laughs> they're, they're, they want to get to the truth. I understand this too. Two numbers that I think are really important, 17 and 66. 17 witnesses the Democrats brought forward in their fake impeachment process. And remember, those 17 came forward based on one anonymous whistleblower, anonymous whistleblower with no firsthand knowledge, bias against the president that that worked for Joe Biden. Those 17 from, from based on that whistleblower versus the 66 people who have testified in Michigan, Pennsylvania and Arizona in these state hearings, 66 to 17. And so let's again, let's get all the truth, all, all the information out there so that we can get to the truth. Over 200 people have filed affidavits and declarations. We didn't have that during the impeachment, yet the Democrats spent a year on impeachment. They spent all that time on Trump Russia, uh, the whole Mueller investigation. We can certainly spend a few weeks when you have a third of the electorate who thinks something's not right here. We can certainly spend a few weeks in some important court cases to find out exactly what happened. Yeah.